Hello, hello, Mirna. Hi. Josabeth, hello. Welcome. Veamos ese bebé, Mirna. Póngalo ahí en la cámara. <ríe> ah, ahí está, ese coloche. Es, 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 ah, no, es una niña. Es una bebita. Yeah, right. <ríe> ok, what's your name? ¿Cómo se llama la princesa? Por ahí no, no tiene encendido el micrófono, Mirna. <ríe> Enciéndelo. Ajá, ¿cómo sí. se llama? Sí, sí, ¿cómo se llama la bebé? Scarlett Alejandra. Oh, Scarlett. Alejandra, nice. <laughs> She's learning English. Hello, hello. <laughs> hola, hola. Hola, Ica, aprende inglés. Recuerda que el inglés desde la pancita se aprende, ¿eh? Desde ahí se aprende. Sí. <laughs> Póngale cancioncita, cancioncita en inglés, right? Ok, está bien, yeah, teacher. Yeah. Ok, Josabeth, welcome. Dinora, Adi, Mauricio Alarcón. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new class. Good. Eh, por ahí había algunos que estaban teniendo problemas con, el, con un punto de la plataforma. Así que de entrada vamos a meterle con ganas ese punto, ¿verdad? El 2.11, 2.11. Ok. Let me see, sharing the window screen. Okay, section two. 2.11, right? Listen and exercise. Daily schedules, daily schedule, right? Daily schedule. Okay, pay attention, please. I will read for you again, right? We listen to the audio and then I will repeat for you, right? Slowly, right? Slowly. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? What are your work hours like? ¿Cómo son tus horas de trabajo, right? ¿Cuál es tu horario? They're okay. They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I work in the afternoons and the evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. I get up. Oh, I get up at 9, 9 a.m., right? And I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I work from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. Okay? Listen again this part. Afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Okay, now, so get up at 9 and start working from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. I get home fairly late. I get home fairly late, very late. About 11 p.m. About 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And I'm usually in bed around 1 in the morning, right? Oh, 1 a.m., 1 a.m. And what do you do, Tina? And what do you do, Tina? Now we're going to talk about Tina, right? Well, I'm an office manager. Well, I'm an office, I'm an office manager. I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get... It's a regular nine to five, nine to five, Regular job, is it right? It's a regular nine to five office job, so I 
It's a regular nine to five office job. So I... I get up at 7 a.m. and... I get up at 7 a.m. Get home around 6 p.m. I get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because... That's okay, though, because... As I like to go out at night. I like to go out at night. I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on week. I go to bed around midnight on weekends. Listen. Bed around midnight on weekdays. Ah, on weekdays. Sorry, weekdays. Like los fines de semana sale parrando esta chica. Okay, now. What about you, Ellen? What about you, Helen? Ves? O Alan. Well, my job is a bit different. My job is a, is a little bit different. A little bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning. I start work at 6 in the morning. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow. Wow. That's too early for me. That's too early for me. It's very early for me. Then I often have long flights. Then I often, I frequently have long flights. Long, extensive in time, long flights, right? So I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. So I don't get home until, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. So I don't have, uh, I don't get home until, I'm sorry, I don't listen very well. I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. I, I don't get home until 9 o'clock, right? Night. At night. But I always go to bed right away. But I always go to bed right away. Around 10. Around 10, right? Okay. Good. I have a question here. I have a question in chat. Ah, good evening, Kenneth. Welcome, Kenneth. Ya no había perdido, verdad? Estaba preocupado que no había entrado. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're I welcome. have a lot of problem, but I'm okay. Don't worry. It's the everyday, right? But that's it. Let's continue with this course, right? Let's continue. Now, good. Do you have questions? Do you understand? The problem here is to understand it. 1 a.m., uh, 7, uh, 10, etc., etc. And we have three people. Okay, we have Helen. Uh, I forgot the name. Give me a second. I am. Um, okay, Rodney. <laughs> Rodney. Tina. And Helen. So we have three people, right? Three people. Okay, good. Solo que aquí en mi pantalla están las respuestas, así que no las puedo enseñar. <laughs> so let me see. Vamos a hacer algo aquí. Vamos a borrarla rapidito. Ya la vi. No, 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 please. <laughs> okay. Vamos a hacerlo en secreto entonces. Ok, let me see. Vamos a borrarlas aquí para que no, no me las vean y lo hacemos juntos. Solo quiero darle algunos tips porque a veces la, la plataforma nos pide que pongamos números y a veces nos pide que pongamos letras con los números, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Ya lo tenemos acá. Let me see. Let me see here. Let's share the, the, the screen again. Okay, good. Now, escriba los números en letras. Pay attention, please. Write numbers in letters, right? So, Rodney. Rodney is the occupation, right, of Rodney. Flight attendant, chef, or office manager. Flight attendant, chef, or office manager. Three occupation, right? He get gets up at, so you're going to copy here, right? Uh, for example, let's say seven. Sorry. 
or, or, or nine or, or 10, right? AM or PM, right? AM or PM, depending on the situation, right? I suppose in this case it's AM, right? But you copy, listen, you know, no estoy diciendo que esté la respuesta, no estoy diciendo que esté la respuesta. Es solo para que vean cómo escribirlo, ¿ok? He gets home at, you copy here the, the time again. Goes to bed. Um, Tina, what is the occupation of Tina? She's a chef, uh, ma uh, an office manager, or a flight attendant, right? In the time she gets up, she gets home, she goes to bed, right? Helen, flight attendant, chef, or office manager. Gets up, gets home, and goes to bed, right? Good. Uh, este es uno de los ejercicios en los que había problemas que algunos no lo habían entendido. Uh, pregunto, ¿hay algún otro ejercicio de las secciones 1 al 3 que todavía les cueste para hacerlo juntos? ¿Para revisarlo juntos? Talk now. Or be quiet forever, right? Hablen ahora o callen para siempre. <laughs> so, do you have questions? Please, I like questions. No, okay, good. Ah, here, aquí aparece una pregunta, let me see. Ah, no, no, okay, no, no questions, eh? no questions. Okay, good, that's nice. Now let's come back to the, to the original class, right? Let's come back to the original class. Just give me a second. Now we're going to review the power pre presentation of yesterday, right? The power present point presentation, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, good. Now, listen, please. Good, I will share with you. Give me a second. Here, right? Chair, good. Now, let me see. Okay, good. Now we have here the the auxiliary or the modal, sorry, the modal would plus verb plus preposition to plus verb in affirmative, right? Uh, Kenneth would like to drink soda. They would like to cross the river. Josabeth would like to see her friends. Marvin would like to eat chicken. And here we have the construction, right? I'd, do, he'd, she eat with, they, right? Good, now, uh, Mirna, give me one example, please. You say, good. one example, please. You say, good like. Uh, Mirna would like to eat apple pie. <laughs> okay, delicious. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, Mauricio, Mauricio Larcón, please. Another example, Mauricio. We would like to um, go uh, of the El Tunco. El Tunco Beach, okay. Beach. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, the last example, right? Cristina, please. Um. I would like to eat hamburger. Oh, Burger King or McDonald's? <laughs> okay, thank um, you. Huh? Yes, Christina, McDonald's. <laughs> yes. Okay, nice, delicious, right? Delicious. Now, so this is again the subject, the modal good, the verb, right? The main verb, el verbo principal, right? Preposition to, and the verb, right? right? Now we're going to see. The, the negative example, right? Negative, right? So in this case, we use the word not. 
Kenneth would not like to drink soda. They would not like to cross the river. Josabeth would not like to see her friend. Marvin would not like to eat chicken, right? Would not equal to say wouldn't, wouldn't. The L in this case is mute, mute, right? The L is mute, so you say, "Gul, I would like, no, and no, right? Or oh, I wouldn't, <laughs> no, it's I wouldn't. I would, I wouldn't. Affirmative and negative, right? Now, uh, I, we, we practiced this yesterday, but now I need example, right? Uh, Kenneth, please give me one example, please, in negative. For example, it could be, um, I would not like to travel in, in bus, for example. In bus, yes. Yes, in this moment, it's very dangerous. But the Bible, it's right? an example. <laughs> no, 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 I know. It, it's necessary for some people, but now it's, it's really dangerous, right? Okay, now, please, Ricardo. Give me another example, please, Ricardo. In negative. Ricardo, can you hear me, Ricardo? Just teach You're thinking, right? Está pensando, don't worry. I will give sí, you sí. time. <laughs> will... Eh, eh, tengo un problema con la pronunciación de good. Ah, okay. Listen, listen. Affirmative and negative. Pay attention. Good. Wouldn't. Le estoy pronunciando la contracción, ¿verdad? Otra vez, would, wouldn't. Ok, Ricardo. Now, you sí, repeat, sí. Ricardo. Pro Pronuncie, lo vamos a ver si, si le sale bien, Ricardo. Would, would. Ajá, excelente. No, wouldn't. Couldn't. Perfect. I see no problem. Now, please, your example, please. I would not like to eat pizza. Okay. That's okay. Good. Now, I was reading an example of Kenneth right in the, in the chat. Now, Josabeth. Josabeth, give me one example, Josabeth, of negative, please. Um, I wouldn't like to dance with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 no se me cogió nada. No, so that's sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. <laughs> Besides that, eh, Josabeth, I am not a good dancer. Don't worry. I, I am not a good dancer. No? <laughs> okay. I would like to dance salsa, right? Desde que te conocí, right? So, now, let me see. Dinora, the last example, Dinora. Eh, siempre en negativo. Yes. In negative, please. Okay. I would, I, I wouldn't like to eat a lot. Okay, yes. Don't need a lot, you know, because you, you want to keep in shape, right? In shape. <laughs> that's nice. So that's, that's a good example. And thank you very much for your examples. Now let's go. We have affirmative, negative, and now question, right? Yes, no question. In the yes, no question, we change the position of the subject and the model, right? Si se dan cuenta en las preguntas de ese y no, siempre hacemos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Cambiamos la posición del, del auxiliar o el modal, en este caso, would, y, y lo cambiamos con el sujeto. We interchange, right? The position. Okay? Por ejemplo, con el verbo to be, you are a student. Are you a student? Okay? I can speak English. Can I speak English? Lo mismo sucede con el would, right? We say, you would, would you? Would you? Would you like to drink soda? Would they like to cross the river? 
Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? And notice the intonation, right? It goes up, rising intonation. Would you like to drink soda? Exaggeration, right? Would you, they, I'm sorry, would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? Okay, so it goes up, right? Good, now I need an example. Let me see who's going to help me. Uh, Mauricio Alarcón, please. Give me one example of yes, no question using good, Mauricio. Mauricio is thinking, right? Sorry. Uh -huh, Mauricio. Would you like to to play soccer? Excellent. Good question, right? And the intonation, Mauricio. Would you like to play would, soccer? Huh? Uh, would you like to play soccer? Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Godofredo, please. Godofredo. En lo que yo leo los dos mensajes, le vamos a dar tiempo aquí a Godofredo que piense. Uh, Carla would like to travel. Eh, por ahí me estaba dando un ejemplo, Kenneth. Ahí le faltó la preposición to. Kenneth, would you like to travel around the world? Ah, no, Carla would like to travel, sería. Después de like va la preposición to, Kenneth. Would you like to drive at night? Yes. That, good example. Ahí sí me la escribió súper bien, Kenneth. Thank you, thank you for your, your commentary. Now, ready? Godofredo, ready? Este, sí, ahorita. Sería Voy a leer el... yes, no question. Deme un, otro ejemplo de yes, no question. La tres. Cualquiera, pero tiene que ser su idea aquí. Voy, uh, ok. Ok. Would you like to, would you like to sing? Okay, nice. Very nice, thank you. Now, Veronica. Okay. Would you like to go to the movies? Okay, nice. Now let's go to the most difficult, right? Vamos ahora a una más difícil. Thank you, no? Good example. Yes, I like it. Now, would plus verb plus two plus verb. And in WH question, look, we have the WH question, the, sorry, the WH word, what, where, when, who, which, who's, why, how, et cetera, et cetera, right? And the auxiliary would, the subject, the verb, the preposition to, and the verb, right? Where would you like to go? A donde quisiera ir, right? Cuántas esposas o novias aquí en el grupo quisieran escuchar eso, verdad? Donde quieres ir esta noche, amor? Okay. Where would you like to go? Huh? That's a good question, right? Now, next one. When would they like to play? Cuando quisieran ellos jugar? When would they like to play? What would she like to do? What would she like to do? Now, please, Abby, give me one example, Abby. Eh, con esa, ¿verdad? Eh, puedo usar where, when, what, cualquiera. Pero, okay. déme su idea. idea. Eh, what would you like? To, I don't know, uh, where would you like to go on Saturday? Okay, good, thank you. It's similar, but a little bit different, right? Now, Christina, please. Uh, when would you like to go to the cinema? Excellent, very good. Kenneth, ya le hemos preguntado, Kenneth. No, ¿verdad? Okay, Kenneth. Please. Your example, Kenneth. Um, 
for example, could be using what? Using what? Using when? Using where? Using who? who? Okay. When would you like to travel another country? To another country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Marvin Lewis. Marvin? Your example, Marvin, and we finish this part. Hola. Uh, where would they like to visit in holidays? Okay, that's nice, right? Thank you. Nos faltó Larisa y Karen, ¿verdad? Pero ya les vamos a preguntar en, en otro ejercicio. Eh, sorry, Karen, Karen, perdón, este, escuchó el audio en el eh, hoy, que, lo, que lo, lo volvimos a repetir, el del 2.11, Karen. Ahora en la clase. Sí, sí, lo escuchó. Eh, no, teacher, fui. No, no, entró un poquito tarde, pero ahí va a quedar Ajá. grabado. Mañana eh, puede escuchar, el, el, puede ver el video nuevamente y practica, ¿verdad? Ah, el, el problema es que, es que algunos ponían eh, este, in the morning, pero era AM, me parece, ¿verdad? Y PM. Y los números no eran números, sino que había que ponerlos en letras. Ah, Como que estaba, sí, algo confuso. No estaba algo confuso, sí, definitivamente. Sí. Pero si pero, hay otro ejercicio, Karen, si quieres lo podemos hacer ahora o, o el lunes. Cuando ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? O en el WhatsApp, no hay problema. Yo ahí estoy a sus órdenes. ¿Sí? Sí, muchas gracias. Pero, pero sí lo entendió. Lo, lo que quiero saber específicamente si lo entendió al fin. ¿Sí? Sí, sí, vale, ok. Sí. Gracias. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much, Karen. Ok, now, let's go to the platform, right? Let's go to the platform. Finish with this. I close it. And share the platform. Section number four, right? We finished today. We finished today the section four. Uh, okay. Just practice the conversation for the last time. Let me see. Today we have a lot of people, right? Congratulations. Hoy tengo mucha asistencia. La mayoría está en la clase ahora. Congratulations. That's nice. I like it. I like it. En lo que carga el video, uh, les quiero recordar que hoy terminamos la sección 4. Quiere decir que para el lunes deben estar completas todas las actividades de la sección 1 a la 4. Así es que ahí metámosle un poquito de esfuerzo, right? Ok. También quiero avisarles de que podemos cambiar la velocidad de los videos. En this lesson, participa. Aquí pueden ver uh, la velocidad. La normal es 1.0. Esta es la normal. Si quieren escucharlo más rápido, más rápido, nos vamos hasta aquí al 2.0. Listen to a conversation where what for invitations is used when making plans. Ok, good. O podemos hacerlo bien lento. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. Ok. Para aquellos que a veces nos cuesta entender un poquito, que van a hablar muy rápido, ¿verdad? Aquí podemos cambiar la velocidad. Ok. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions Oops. such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. On Friday night. Okay, Would now you... listen and repeat, please. I have tickets to the soccer well, match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Wait, Thanks, wait, wait. I'd love to. Okay. Here, yeah, right? Eh, lo que me llama la atención de este dibujito que go frogs, dogs number one, is, right? La, los sapitos contra la, los patitos, right? <laughs> okay, now, repeat, please. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? 
Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That, that sounds fine. See you there. Good. Now let's see the commentaries. Uh, only one commentary, right? Only one commentary. Good. So please, I need you to add more commentaries to this, right? Remember, you go to add post here, right? You copy your name. I copy my name here, right? Teacher, teacher Javier, right? And um, I copy, I like, I would like to go to the stadium, for example. I would like to go to the stadium to see Santa Tecla versus Alianza, right? Okay, and then you, you submit, look. You submit your commentary and here, let me check. Ah, teacher Javier, I would like to go to, okay? Good, and you can make commentaries. También pueden comentarles. Si algún compañero escribió algo, ustedes le pueden responder aquí, eh? right? Me too, a mí también le pongo, okay? Good. Aquí vamos a eliminarlo, pero para que vean ustedes que que se puede eliminar, ok, pero antes vamos a sacarnos de aquí. Give me a second. Ok, good. Now let's go to next part. Let's go to the next part. The video, right? By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay, so yesterday we were practicing this structure, right? That how to make invitations. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Or you can say, yes, I love to. Oh, yes, I like to. Teacher. Right. Teacher. Yes. Excuse yes. me. Uh, yes, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. Good night. Uh, Good evening. Um, uh, um, how the difference to 
I say I will, I love. What is ah, the difference? Okay, listen, listen to me. Uh, it's the same, Larissa. It's the same. You have this option. Listen, Larissa. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Yes, I like to. Even you can say, yes, I, I would want to. It's not common, but you can use it. So you are saying simple yes. Lo único que está haciendo usted es decir, sí, quiero. <laughs> sí, quiero, right? So the three, the three options are correct. Even this, right? Look, I really like to go. De verdad quiero ir, right? Eh, como escuchamos ayer, uh, que a uh, quien le gustaban las pupusas, a Mónica parece, no, ya no se me olvidó. Uh, pero es algo que realmente queremos, I really like to go. Eh? Entonces puede responder de cualquier forma, Larisa. No hay diferencia, no difference, no difference. It's the same, right? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Yes, I like to. Yes, I really like to go. Eh? Understand, Larissa? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Cualquiera de las tres formas es aceptado. Yes, anything, anything, o de, right? O, de, o dependiendo de donde esté. No. Mm, no, I don't think so. Because when you receive an invitation, it doesn't matter, right? No, no importa donde esté, si está en el campo, en tu casa, en un restaurante, donde sea, si le invitan a hacer algo, usted va, ¿verdad? O lo hace. Gusta, no, me ¿no? refiero, si, si okay. digamos, si fuera una relación, digamos, una invitación a, a un lugar así un poco más exclusivo, digamos. Ah, ok, more romantic. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Yes, it's the same. Lo mismo se usa, yes. Ok. Yes, would, Thank would you like to go out to, um, let me see, a romantic place? I don't know, to the volcano? Would you to like the mountain. To, to the mountain, yes. Uh -huh. To the beach, the beach is very romantic. And you say, would you like to go out to the beach with me, my honey? <laughs> okay, so that's it, right? It's an invitation. Oh, with a friend. Would you like to go to the stadium, right? That's okay. So it doesn't matter. No importa en qué lugar, en qué momento, con quién. Esta es una invitación eh, muy, dijéramos, polite, muy amable, okay? Eh, una invitación algo así fuerte sería eh, do you like to go do you like to go to the beach es un poquito pesadita la invitación ¿verdad? do you like to go or do you want to go es más así entre quiero ¿verdad? pero would you like to es como que más más formal más romántica más amable ok good and look at this would you like to go to a soccer match yes I love to or yes I would oh no I wouldn't. Pero vean que la oración no I wouldn't está correcta, pero no es apropiada. No es correcto. ¿Verdad? Lo correcto es I like to. Sí me gustaría. But, ahí está el but, ¿verdad? I have to work late. Entonces ponemos una excusa o ponemos una razón por la cual no aceptamos la invitación, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente es, no es no, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like you. Me caes mal. <laughs> no, 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 no. Se responde, I love to, ¿verdad? Por más que no le agrade la persona, usted siempre sea amable y diga, I love to. But I have, I need, I want, etc., etc., right? And the contraction would is I, then. I would, I, right? Good. Any question? Yes, teacher. Larissa, please tell me. Uh, excuse me. What means soccer match? Ah, uh, soccer match is juego de fútbol. Match is un juego. Match. Uh, soccer, sí, yes, yes. Uh, match. Mm. Soccer match soccer is un partido. Match. Un partido de fútbol. A soccer match. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because uh, soccer, know, is a, uh, soccer is a soccer is a sport. A football, uh, yes, but, but soccer in 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 the United States is only a, United States. But yes, soccer, but soccer is a, el, 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 el juego fútbol americano. No, 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 no. In the United States, son los únicos burritos en el mundo que hacen eso. In the United States, they call American football, right? 
americano. Ah, okay. ah, es el, ah, el, el fútbol americano. Uh -huh. es que se llama, Spanish. que yo no sé por qué le dicen eh, fútbol, si casi son las manos usan, pero bien, es el juego de ellos, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Eh, y el fútbol de nosotros, el que le pegamos con el pie a la pelota, ¿verdad? Eh, donde hay un equipo bien famoso que es el mejor del mundo, que se llama Barcelona. ¿Ok? <risa> ok. Yes, <risa> really. Yes. Ok. So that is football. Football. Ok. Ah. Football. But in United States, a ese fútbol de nosotros ellos le, le llaman soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Solo en Estados okay, Unidos. Okay. Oh, Pero okay. también el, el match, you can say basketball match. Tenis el match, match es un partido. Es un partido. Tenis match. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, es thank un partido. You. Y el juego, game, they say game, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Any extra question? Thank you. Eh, por ahí escuché un comentario negativo acerca del Barcelona. Por favor, no quiero tener problemas con ningún alumno. <laughs> okay. No, Camar. It's a joke, right? <laughs> ok, con solo que apoyen a la alianza es suficiente. No. Any other question? Any other question? Good. So let's continue. No, no. no. Ok, thank you. Now we have only commented. Oh, okay. qué desolado los comentarios. Qué tristes. Qué solitario. Only Silvia, right? Okay. Silvia Hernández says, Would you like to eat fish? Yes, I would. Excellent. Thank you, Silvia. Salvó al grupo, Silvia, porque aquí no sé quién me puso este comentario. Would you like to go to the park on Friday? Yes, I would, but tell me the time at 4 p.m. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please make commentaries. Make commentaries, please. I always read them. Yo siempre los leo. Okay? Now let's continue, please. Uh, for the video here. And knowledge check, right? Knowledge check. Let's go to the knowledge check. It says, read the following invitations. So we have invitations. Select the best response. Look. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Yes, I am. Yes, I love to. ¿Se recuerdan las preguntas que hicimos la vez pasada de yes, I am, yes, I do, yes, I can? Pues algo parecido aquí, ¿verdad? Si la pregunta es con el verbo to be, respondemos con el verbo to be. Si la pregunta es con do, we, we answer with do, right? In this case, what is the best option? Yes, I am, or yes, I love to. Next one, number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Would you like? I like, but I have to work late. Oh, I like to, but I have a meeting. ¿Cuál de estas oraciones está correcta? Choose the one, second right? option. No, 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 please, it's a secret. Es retórica la pregunta, right? Okay. Okay, sorry. No worry, no worry. Okay, number three, number three, number three, right? Listen, would you like to go to a pop concert with this, with me this weekend? Yes, I really like to. Oh yes, I really like to go. Hmm? Una de estas dos está correcta, right? You can go to the structure, right? Podemos regresar al video anterior y e ahí revisamos cuáles son las oraciones correctas. Ok, now. Number five. No, number four, right? Would you like to go to a soccer match next Saturday? Yes, I love to. Thank you. Oh, yes, I wouldn't. Yes, I wouldn't. So, check it out what is the correct one, right? Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? I love to, but I has to work. I love to, but I have to work. ¿Ah? Siempre hay una cascarita ahí que ustedes tienen que fijar, ¿verdad? Para contestar. Good. Any question? Any question about this? No, teacher, thank you. No, no, okay. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to the last part. Let's go to the last part. The reading exercise. Reading. Cristina Aguilera, right? Do you remember this girl? She's beautiful, right? Cristina Aguilera. We're going to read about Cristina Aguilera, right? And he says, 
Uh, listen, please. Wait a minute. Read the article. Then number sentences from one first event to eight last event. Oh, this is kind of difficult, right? So she sings at the Winter Olympic Game. Is the event number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight? She's born in New York. Ella canta en los Juegos Olímpicos de invierno, right? Ella nació en Nueva York. She was born in New York. No, sorry, she, she wasn't born in Santana. No, lo siento, no nació en Santana, nació en Nueva York, right? She was born in New York. She wins a Grammy for the song Beautiful. She records a song for a Disney movie. Grabó una canción para una película de Disney, right? She travels around Japan. She works with Britney Spears. She's on television for the first time. La primera vez que apareció en televisión. She has her first very successful song. Eh, ella obtuvo su primera canción exitosa, successful, right? Exitosa, successful. Okay, those are the eight events. Esos son los ocho eventos. Now we're going to read together, right? Let's read together. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Christina Aguilera. Okay, here. So far, she has multiple hit singles. Hit. Tiene muchas canciones exitosas, right? She has fans of all ages. Con fans de todas las edades, right? Around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. Sí, tiene una magnífica voz esta chica. She is Cristina Aguilera, right? Los papás eran ecuatorianos, pero no sé si aparece aquí. Okay, let me see. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. Highlight means son cosas importantes en la vida de, y en la carrera de Cristina. 1980, aquí prestemos atención a los eventos. 1980. Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. Okay, este es el primer evento, right? Number two, 1988. Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show, right? De aparición, este, uh, programa de televisión de talento, right? 1999, right? Tuvo una cita con el teacher. Ah, no, no, sorry, excuse me. Me confundí. Okay. Cristina is on TV in this the new Mickey Mouse Club, right? Apareció en televisión por primera vez en el programa de Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Cristina records All I Wanna Do with Queso. Ella grabó la canción All I Wanna Do, todo lo que quiero hacer, right? Keizo Nakashi, no, Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star, right? She tours Japan, for the, the tours of Japan, right? 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Mulan. I remember that movie, that was nice. Mulan, right? Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. Primer éxito de Cristina Aguilera. Se llamaba Angenio en, en una botella, right? 2001. Along with other singers, Cristina records Lady Marmalade. Cule con cuche a me Hey, Mr. Crumb. Okay, remember that song? Lady Marmalade, right? For the movie Moulin Rouge. Para la película El Molino Rojo, de Moulin Rouge. Lady Marmalade. Hey, sister, go, sister. I like it, that song. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Ella eh, cantó 
para la ceremonia de cierre en los Juegos Olímpicos de Invierno en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Salt Lake City, en Utah. And Christina wins the best female pop vocals Grammy Award for Beautiful. Ganó el, uh, el premio a la mejor ar artista femenina, ¿verdad? Por la canción Beautiful. ¿Ok? Those are the events. Ahí están todos los eventos en orden. And then he says, Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. A pesar de todo eso, ¿verdad? Ella está espantada, está sorprendida de su éxito. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. Es como que oh, me ha subido la montaña rusa, dice ella. She laughs. I simply love my job. Simple y sencillamente le fascina su trabajo. So do Cristina's fans, right? Así que a todos los fans de Cristina Aguilera, me imagino que también le gusta la música de ella, right? Cristina second from right. Es la segunda de la derecha. From right, right? Es... ¿Quién sería Cristina Aguilera? Esta es, ¿verdad? Okay. Good. And aquí está cantando la canción Genie in the Bottle, right? Genie in the Bottle. Good. That's it, right? Now, do you have any question? Do you understand what you're going to do? No questions? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we finished section four. Officially, we finished section four, right? So we have classes next week with section number five, right? Now, before to finish the class, Teacher. I don't know, yes, tell me, tell me. Excuse tell me. me. Tell me. How, how do you say the example? Uh, perdón, like exercise. I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, you don't understand the instructions of the exercise. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, yes. I will repeat. I will repeat. Listen, you will read this article about Cristina Aguilera. Right? Van a leer el artículo de Cristina Aguilera, right? Mm -hmm. She has many uh, events in her life. Hay muchos eventos en la vida de Cristina Aguilera, right? Oh, yes. Okay, and you see the, the years. Aquí puede ir viendo los años, ven el, cómo va sucediendo cada evento. Then you're going to do the same, right? ¿Qué sucedió primero? She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Ella cantó. Ah, ah yes, yes. Es, ah, yes. Del 1 al 8, del 1 al 8, ¿cuál evento es ese? Es el evento yes. número 1. Ah, ok, ok. El evento número 2, el evento número 4, el evento número 8. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, yes. Yeah. Eh, ustedes van yeah. a ir viendo aquí el orden que van apareciendo. Ok, thank you. Y le voy a poner un número. Obviamente, si le ponen al, a la A, que es el primero, en el segundo, en la B, no van a poner primero otra vez, van a poner el tercero, el quinto, ahí uh -huh. dependiendo de la lectura, ¿ok? Yes, yes. Ah, yes. oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ok. Como tenemos tiempo, voy a aprovechar para darles un tip. Pero pay attention, pay attention. Uh, al final de cada ejercicio aparece aquí abajo centro de ayuda, right? No sé si algunos de ustedes ya lo hicieron, pero vamos a hacerlo juntos. Entonces, le damos clic y ahí en el centro de ayuda aparece la plataforma de aprendizaje. ¿Yes? En la plataforma de aprendizaje le damos ingresar a la plataforma de aprendizaje. ¿Ok? Le damos clic. Y ahí nos aparece la, la plataforma. Y al final, al final de la página, nos aparece donde dice recursos académicos. Y nos aparecen cuatro recursos académicos. Grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, and video conferences, right? Entonces, si ustedes quieren practicar la gramática, nos vamos a grammar. Y encontramos que aquí hay tres niveles. Basic, intermediate. En advance. Vamos a comenzar con el basic. Le damos clic. Y ahí nos aparece uh, un montón de temas. The present of B, imperative, the future of going to, the past of B, the simple present, bla, 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 bla. Ok. Vamos a irnos a uno, por ejemplo. The simple past. Démosle clic ahí. Queremos ver qué pasa. 
The simple past. Ok, ahí está una lección. The Life of Wangari Mat Matai. Es una señora que ganó el premio Nobel por haber sembrado muchos árboles en Kenia, ¿verdad? Y aquí nos explica, miren cómo es el uso del el pasado simple. Ok. Eh, el uso de verbos regulares, que le agregamos ed a los verbos. ¿Verdad? Ahí tenemos ejemplos. Uh, ejemplos en negativo time expressions eh, expresiones que usamos para usar el pasado simple ok, ejercicios los verbos irregulares eh. one, el pasado de win el pasado de teach, taught ok, oraciones negativas prácticas cómo hacer yes no question el pasado simple Short answer, respuestas cortas, práctica, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? Good. Esto es en gramática. Let me see. Vamos a irnos a otro. Ok. Ya nos salimos y nos vamos a ir a, a vocabulary, por ejemplo. Vocabulary. Queremos irnos a vocabulary. ¿Y qué queremos saber de vocabulary? Eh, the classroom, por ejemplo. The classroom. Y ahí está un salón de clase, ¿verdad? Y cada cosa tiene su número, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. ¿Cómo se dice? Regla, calculadora, escritorio. Ok. Uh, reloj. Etcétera, etcétera. Aquí tenemos, ¿ves? Teacher. Teacher's aid. Student aid es como uh, ayuda para, para dar la clase. Student, pen, pencil, eraser, desk, etcétera, etcétera, right? Y aquí nos aparecen unas acciones en el salón de clase. Ok, classroom actions. Stand up. Stand up. Go to the board. Vaya a la pizarra, right? Aquí todavía había pizarra con, con chalk, con yeso, right? Open the book. Close your book. Study the page eight, uh, etcétera, etcétera. Ahí está el vocabulario. Yes. Ok. ¿Qué les parece este material? Mm? No. Very nice. Very nice, right? Listen. Eh, nos vamos nuevamente para que vean la ruta. En cualquier página de la plataforma nos vamos al final, le damos a centro de ayuda. En centro de ayuda nos vamos a la plataforma, ingresar a la plataforma. Y dentro de la plataforma, al final, aparecen estos recursos académicos. Ahí para que ustedes practiquen. Hay mucho, mucho material para entretenerse. ¿Ok? Good. Any question? Before we finish. No question, teacher. No questions. Okay. Thank you very much. So have a good night. Have a good weekend, right? And I hope to see you next Monday. God bless you. Bye, teacher. Have good a good night. night. Thank you. See you the next week. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.